Hey folks, back with another little video. This time we're looking at another Hanshu product. Uh, this is the Hanshu Karito Battle Axe. In case you can't tell, I seem to be on a little bit of a Hanshu kick. <laughs> it's good stuff, I gotta say. I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, the Hanshu products. Price is right, build quality is right, sharpness out of the box is great. They're not the highest end swords and battle axes in the world, but, you know, for what I'm doing, for collecting, for looking cool on the wall, for cutting targets in the backyard, bang on, no doubt about it. And this one is no different. Again, this is from the Corito series. It's a battle axe, a bearded Viking axe, sort of, kind of, bit of a, a fantasy piece, no doubt about it. Uh, looking at some specs from relics.com, it is a eight and a half inch blade length, made out of seven CR thirteen, par for the course for most of the uh, most of the Hanshu. Uh, I hate to say budget series, but it is, I guess, a budget series. Um, Twenty seven inch overall and a weight of three point two pounds. All that feels pretty par for the course for what I just experienced. Um, I will say it's a. Uh, the first battle axe I've ever owned. Certainly the first battle axe I've ever taken out for a cutting session. It's got a bit of a round cross section, a little bit oval shaped down here, a bit round. Um, it kind of guides you into holding it in certain places here. The handle's got a little choil, I guess, for your between your pinky and your ring finger. They want you to put your index finger here, I'm assuming, not here, here. Um, I found I got a little bit better of a result if I uh, use this piece, use this grip down here, but back my hand down away closer together. I guess that's sword technique, maybe creeping its way into my battle axe technique, if, <laughs> if I'm qualified to say that I have such a thing. But um, different, man, different to use, I gotta say. It, um, Feels like you're chopping down a tree. Looks like you're cutting with a sword. So that's weird. Um, edge alignment was a bit of a battle. It was, uh, I found after, usually when I do my cutting sessions, I take out several of each target. The first three, it was honing in, getting better and better. I'll show you the cutting session now in a second. And um, it got better, but it just took some concentration. Definitely a different beast to use. Before we uh, get too involved, though, let's have a look at the uh, the sheath, as we're inclined to do. It's a typical affair for ha for Hanshu, a nice thick leather with the Hanshu emblem, and a double snap enclosure and a belt loop, if you feel so inclined to carry this thing on you. Um, blade has the obligatory four holes and a fuller in it that most Han Shu products have. And um, that's about all there is to say about it. Well constructed. It's got um, one, two, and three Chicago screws. So I'm assuming there's a tang that runs all the way down here. I've never taken any of my Han Shus apart, but they seem like they're very well constructed, especially by the indication of the way the screws are running right down to here. So. But there you go. Uh, let's take you out to the stump and uh, show you my cutting session with the Hanshu Corito Battle Axe right now. This time, looking at the Hanshu Corito Battle Axe.
yeah, there you go. Not the worst session I've ever had, given that it's my first session with a uh, curved battle axe like this. That went okay. I'm sure if I put some more time and practice into it, it would uh, definitely become a little bit more natural. Definitely a weird thing to wield, but uh, very, very cool. Very, very badass looking addition to my collection. Looks awesome on the wall. And uh, pretty happy to own it. Pretty stoked, gotta say. That's it for this session, folks, for this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And thanks for watching. Bye.